seniors. How you doing? Oh my God, I'm so excited about doing these. Okay, so we went over these in class. Might have struggled with them, may not have. Um, they're not the easiest problems, I get it, but I think get, uh, doing these ought to be able to help you or maybe watch, showing you this video or going over this video might help you with some of those problems. So before I get started, though, oh, I got to do my Dunkin' Donuts commercial. Man, before I do some creative problem-solving mathematics, I drink some coffee. Mm. It so helps with working on math problems. He <laughs> nailed another commercial. Oh, my God. I'm making millions off my Dunkin' Donuts commercials, baby. Woo. Seriously, though, man, it's some good coffee. Yeah. All right, let's go through this one. Let's go through this one. Draw a diagram. So this chapter is called Drawing a Diagram. Right? So the first one is Modern Basketball Association. What we got here, we got a new basketball league was formed in which... Each of the teams will play. Now, this is kind of important. We've got to get through this stuff. Each of the teams will play against, uh, play three games against, uh, three games against each of the other teams. Okay? There are seven teams. Now, the nice thing about these seven teams, whoever created this problem, <clears throat> there are Antelopes, A, Bears, B, the Cubs, C, the Dusters, D, the Eagles, E, the Foxes, and the Goats. I am on the Goats team because... On the goat. Oh, my God. So how many games were played in all? So let's think about this first. If we can figure out how many games are played when they just play each other once, well, wouldn't I just have to multiply that by three to get through how they do all the plays or how, how they're going to get all the games won or how the games played? Right. If I can just figure out how many times how many games are played when they play each other once, then if we just have to do that three times. So I just multiply by three. That's it. All right, so that's our job. So here's the way I handled this problem. Here's the way I, what's this called? Draw a diagram, right? Here's the way I drew this diagram. So there's seven teams. So I just put them all in a circle. And I call them A. Oh, crud, that's not the color to use. We'll use fuchsia. A, B, C, D, E. F and G. Now here comes this is this is the easy part. This is the part you got to think. Not too much to think about. A is going to play here once. A is going to play here twice. Now if A plays B, doesn't B play A? Yeah. So that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five, and that's six. So A has to play six games. Now you might be entitled to you know enticed to multiplying by six or by by the number of teams, which is seven. But that's not right, and that's because B already played A. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at B's games. So who does B have to pay? Well, B's already played A. So A played one, two, three, four, five, six games. Now, how many new games, new games does B have to play? Well, B's already played A, so they don't have to play A, but they've got to pay C. That's one, two, three, four, five. So B is going to play five new games. So now we're going to tackle C. Let's go to purple. C is going to be purple. So C is going to play. They've already played B, and C's already played A, so they only have to play D, E, F, and G. So C has to play four new games. Now, how many games does D have to play? Well, D's already played C. They've already played B, and they've already played A. So they have to play E, F, and G. So they got to play three new games. And I think you see where this is going, right? Three new games. Now, let's see. What color have we used? Uh, let's see. I use rainbow. Who does E have to play? E has to play F and G. So E has to play two new games. And then how much does F have to play? F only has to play one new game. So how many games in total were played? Let's see if we can figure out how many games in total were played. 
So 6, 11, 15, 18, 21. So this was 21. Ooh, that's terrible. 21 games. And that's just if they play play each other one time. Right? So if it takes 20 if it's 21 games and they play each other one time, all I got to do is multiply that by 3, 21 times 3 and they would play a total of 63 games played. For everybody to play each other 3 times. All right, that's problem number 1. I'm going to take a break, drink some coffee and I'll be right back. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god, that's so the magic of balls, the magic of video. I was over there. See, like I miraculously disappeared and now I'm back. All right, let's talk about Jenny and her model train. Jenny's model train is set up on a circular track. Six telephone poles are spaced evenly around the track. The engine of Jenny's train takes 10 seconds to go from the first pole to the third pole. How long will it take the engine to go all the way around the track? Okay, so there's six poles evenly paced. So we're going to do one pole, two poles, three poles, four poles, five poles, and six poles. So if you can imagine her track goes like this, somewhere around like this. Just having fun, just having some fun. Okay, so let's number these. One, two, three, four. Man, that's terrible. Four, five, and six. So we got six poles. Okay, so Jenny's train it takes 10 seconds to go from the first pole to the third pole. So if, her, if she starts here, it's going to take her 10 seconds to get to that first, second, third, to get to the third pole, correct? All right, so well then how long would it take her then to get just to the second pole? Wouldn't that just be five seconds? So it takes basically, it's, <coughs> the way it's saying, it's going to take five seconds to go from one pole to second. It's five seconds here, five seconds here, five seconds here, five seconds here, five seconds here. So six times five. Is it six times five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times five is 30 seconds. Wow, that problem wasn't too bad. Oh, and I forgot, I should have said this uh, before. Uh, you should write a sentence at the end of these, and I forgot to do that up here. I'm a little out of rust. Um, if each team plays each other three, sorry about that being behind my head, Three, I should put it up here, three times, <clears throat> then they will need to play 63 games in all or in total. That was right, right, 63? <clears throat> all right, so on this question it says, how long will it take the engine to go around the track? It will take What did we come up with 30 seconds for the train to go all the way around the track. All right, <clears throat> problem two done. I'll be right back. Got to drink some more coffee. <sighs> Dunkin' Donuts coffee helps you do better in math. Oh, my God. Amazing. Okay, the coffee's good, though. Commercials kind of stink, but the coffee is ridiculously good. Okay, here we go. 
Sam, Mamie, Ralph, and Gay, Gail, sorry about that, are all skilled at video game, at skilled at the video game Alien Invaders. Gail constantly scores better than Ralph. Sam is better than all of them, and Mamie is better than Ralph. Who is the better player, Gail or Mamie? Okay, so if you were to look at this problem, probably the most important thing to see is this one right here. The first place you should start is Sam is better than all of them. So we know for certain that if we were to rank these guys in order, that Sam is going to be here at the top. Okay. Now, what else did we find out? We found out that Gail consistently scores higher than Ralph. So if I'm working on the side, I'm thinking Gail scores above Ralph. So scale, I put Gail, I don't need an arrow per se, but I just put Gail at a, at a higher level than Ralph. And then Mamie is better than Ralph. So Mamie is better than Ralph as well. So if Sam is above all these, he would kind of go up here. So if I'm thinking about this, it seems like Ralph kind of stinks. So we'll put Ralph down here. He's down here. And why? Because Sam can beat Gale. Because he beats everybody. And Gale beats Ralph. Mamie can beat Ralph, and Sam beats everybody. So this would be, now, they never made any connection between Mamie and Gale, but I'm going to go back and read. Uh, Mamie, Ralph, and Gale are all skilled at video games called Alien Bears. Gale consistently scores higher than Ralph. Go through these, make sure that's true. Gale is better than Ralph, good. Sam is better than all of them, so Sam's up at the top. And Mamie is better than Ralph. And Mamie's better than Ralph. So who is better, Gail or Mamie? Well, they never really made any connection here. So I don't think we can tell. So I would say something like that. Since we were never told... The relationship between Mamie and Gail, we cannot determine who is better. All right, there we go. All right, that was quick. Let me go on to the next one. The pool deck. So John used a shovel to dig his own swimming pool. <laughs> Sucker. Do you know how long that would take with a shovel to dig your own swimming pool? He figured he needed a pool because he was digging. It was hard work, and he could use it to cool off after working on it all day. Period. Oh, <laughs> this is when I was... Period. He also plans to build a rectangular concrete around the pool that would be six feet wide at all points. The pool is a rectangular and measures 14 by 40 feet. What is the area of the deck? All right. So, you need to draw a picture. This is our pool. Now our pool measures 14, let me do this on the inside, it'll make it a little bit easier. Our pool measures 14 by 40. Okay, now they said that they plan to build a rectangular or a concrete deck around the pool that's six feet wide at all points. So, come up with my fuchsia. I'm going to build a concrete deck 
that goes around my pool and everywhere it's around the pool it's six feet wide six feet wide I forgot the T six feet wide here and six feet wide here because all the way around that pool it's going to be six feet okay so what is the area of the deck so what we want to figure out is what is this area what is the area of the deck Wish you could turn this thing sideways. So we want to know what is the area of that. Okay, so what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to break this into some rectangles. I'm going to look at this rectangle in particular. See this rectangle right here? Now we know it's six feet wide. But how long is it? From here to here is 40, and that's six feet. And that's six feet. So if this is 40, and that's six feet, and that's six feet, isn't this 52? So that top rectangle, we're going to call that rectangle one. So the area of rectangle one equals 52 times six, which is 312. Now, I'm also going to do this bottom area, so down here. This is also 6 times 52, so that we're going to call area 2. I don't know what happened. There you go. Area 2. That's the same thing. It's 52 times 6, which is 312. And then we're going to look at how to, uh, what color we're going to use. Use black, I guess. We're going to look at this rectangle. Well, this rectangle is relatively easy. It's 14 this way and 6 this way. And we're going to call this area 3. So area 3, by the way, this is the hard way to do the problem is equal to 14 times 6, which is 84. And then area 4, which hopefully you understand very simply, is also this spot, 14 times 6. And area 6, 14 times 6 is also 84. So I grabbed the old calculator. 84, oops. Uh, times 2 plus 312 times 2 equals 792 feet. So the area of the deck is 792 square feet. Now that's one way to do the problem. There's an actual easier way to do the problem. So I'm going to try to erase some of this. Ugh, I lost my pool. So take a look at this very large rectangle here. Let's say you had a piece of paper and you took a, oh my gosh. You took, you took the area of this very large piece of paper. My goodness. All right, I'm bringing up the ruler. Oh, I can't bring up the ruler. Shoot. Shoot. 
So let's say we had that, and, and that's all of this. You know what? We're going to do it this way. I'm going to, since I got the colors, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to grab my pool. This is the whole outside area. And this is the pool on the inside. This is the pool. Pool. I'm going to write about, about the right pool. Pool. So if I take the area of this, which is, this is 52. Now remember, this was 14, correct? So if I add 6 this way, that's 20. And I add 6 this way, that's 20. That's 26. So this length is 26. So the area of a very large rectangle is, we'll call that area large, is equal to 52 times 26, which I believe is 13... 52. Now, if I come in here and I cut out this area here, which is the pool, and I just get rid of it, I just kind of cut all this out, aren't I left with just the like, area along the outside? So the pool we know is 40 by 14. So if I take the area of the pool, that's equal to 40 times 14. Let's see, that's 28, 56, that's 560. So by taking it out, you're really subtracting. So if I, oh, if I take this 1352 and I subtract off 560, I get area of the deck is equal to 1352 minus 560, and it should come as no surprise to you that that area of the deck is 792. All right, so there's the answer, 792, area of this deck. All right. Oh, my gosh. I just got home from school after teaching for eight hours my mask. I should put my mask on. And now we got to do this again. Woohoo! I'm having so much fun. Let's talk about Farmer Ben. Farmer Ben! We live in Hilton. We got some farmers. Let's talk about Farmer Ben. Farmer Ben only has ducks and cows. He can't remember how many of each he has. Farmer Ben's not too smart. He doesn't need to remember because he knows he has 22 animals. All right, so we're going to say 22 animals. And for some reason, he knows that he has 56 legs. Those animals have 56 legs. Oh, it's his father's age. That's his father's age. So he remembers that he has 56 legs. Why? I have no idea. Assume that each animal has all legs intact and no more. So a duck has two legs and a cow has uh, four legs. By the way... Do you know what they call a cow with no legs? A cow with no legs. Think about it. If you want to hit pause and think about it, go ahead. A cow with no legs is called ground beef. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to do that? We have 22 animals. Well, with 22 animals, doesn't that mean we have 22 heads? So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Oops, let me do this Maybe I'll do this below. Do it a different color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven heads. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So I'm going to make them all ducks. In other words, they all have two legs. All two legs. Yes, this takes a little bit of time to draw, but it's no big deal. All right. So if I was to make them all two legs, all two legs. In other words, all ducks. If I had all ducks, I would have 44 legs. 22 times 2 is 44 legs. Okay, I need 56 legs. 
So in order to get more legs, some of them have to be cows. Because cows have four legs. So I'm going to add some legs to these things. One, two, let's make some of these cows. I'm going to make this a cow. I'm going to turn you into a cow. I'm going to turn you into a cow. And I want to turn you into a cow. All right, now let's see how many legs we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 ducks. That's 36 legs. And 4 cows. That's 16 legs. So that would be a total of 52 legs. So I don't have enough legs, so I need more cows. I need more cowbell. So more cows. So more cows. So now I'm going to turn, I don't know, let's, let's turn one more at a time. Let's do one more. Turn one more into a cow. So now I have 17 ducks or 34 legs. And I have five cows or 20 legs. So that would be 54. We're getting close, right? We're getting close. So now let's do one more. Let's make one more cow. So if I make one more cow, that's 18 ducks. No, 16 ducks. And 16 ducks is 32 legs. And that's going to make six cows. Four, sorry, that's, I know that's behind my head. 24 legs for a total of 56 legs. Yes, we got it. Now, I don't expect you to get these the right way the first time. I expect you to try a little bit of trial and error there. All right, so Farmer Ben. has 16 ducks and 6 cows. All right. That's it for Unit 1. They're kind of simple, just drawing little pictures to kind of get an idea about what's going on. Uh, hit the subscribe button for me, please, and drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Ooh, it's delicious. All right, kiddos. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.